Speaking about a few movies, one thing I wanted to say. Did I ever tell you guys about my buddy Vito? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. So, here's the funny thing. I think it was actually before I met you, John. Or no, no, no. It was after. But me and... That's crazy. Me and John know each other for, like, what? 24 years? Yeah, something. 25 years. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. I can't believe... I can't believe... We we haven't ripped each other's heads off, or or at least like. Well, we death came, we came close uh, a few times. Yeah. So Vito. So Vito. Oh, so Vito was my uh, first friend ever, because like right now I, I I wouldn't shut the fuck up. No, no. Luckily, I at the time I couldn't speak English, so so I was going to a Catholic school. I was in, in like second grade. I couldn't. Or no, I was third grade. I couldn't fucking speak English. So I'm just like the crazy Polak kid who nobody wants to talk to because he just does weird shit and he can't speak English. So you can't tell him not to do shit. And then Vito was like this crazy fucking... His name was Vito Siciliano. I don't, I don't give a fuck if he sees this. So he's obviously Sicilian. And there was really... Uh, nobody talked to him because he just had really fucked up parents. Um, they actually... I never knew what happened to his parents, but... Uh, his ma would always try and borrow thousands of dollars weekly from my ma. So I don't know if they owed like a loan shark or some shit, but um, she, and I, I think she might have been a heroin addict. That's what my ma told me all these years. And then later on, her ma, his ma died, and we don't know. I think the dad went to jail, and we, we never knew what the fuck happened. So the funny thing is, I was hanging out with this, you know, oh, so here's this crazy Polak kid, here's this crazy Italian kid. They're best friends because they're both both weird, and everybody hates them. So, of course, everybody stalks everybody when they get older. Like, oh, what's this guy up to? What's this guy, you know? So I looked up his name, and he, you know, I'm like, oh, man, he's probably got some jobs for me to do. You know, I, I need to fill out some applications. He's probably doing some really badass mafia shit. Well... He's doing something even more badass. Do tell. He got arrested two years ago because he was in a guys-only masturbation cult in River Forest Woods. How badass is that? Yeah. It's like something right out of The Godfather. All right. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> hey! So, so I, I thought that was pretty awesome. That, uh... I don't know. I, I guess that's what happens when your mom's a crack whore and your dad's in the mafia. You end up masturbating in the woods. Sounds like some real jerks. But yeah. <laughs> so what I'm getting the impression of is that you've had a few very strong male role models in your life. Oh, yeah. Between Tom and Vito. Oh, yes. The one comment I wanted to say is... Well, there, there's John, too. That, and, of course, John. <laughs> oh, shit. And, uh, He's looking at you like, what about me, man? <laughs> No, I didn't forget about you, John. But instead of throwing Thanks, chairs at... You're welcome. Instead of throwing chairs at Tom, you could have just stood on the chair and then decked him. I I didn't... Th well, I mean, I guess that would have worked. But he... I, uh, I, don't know. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I'm, I'm just coming up with an excuse right now. Sure, sure. That's fine. So anyway, in case you didn't get it out there, today's episode is brought to you by Tobacco. That's right. Everyone's favorite plant, everyone's favorite smokable herb, and uh, Phil and I and John at one point are all big fans. So here's to tobacco. And tobacco the band. Thomas e Feck. Exactly right. Black Moth Super Amp. Get fucked up, dude.